So Fox News host Bill O'Reilly is being accused of domestic violence related to a custody dispute. In an article uh, in Gawker by writer J.K. Tratter, he cited uh, an anonymous source familiar with the facts of the case, uh, which details some of the alleged abuse and subsequent court battles for the custody of the two O'Reilly children. Um, now, I'm going to go in and, and read some of the article here to kind of uh, get you familiar with some of the case. Uh, according to the article, three weeks ago, a Nassau uh, County Supreme Court justice ended a bitter three-year custody dispute between Fox News anchor Bill O'Reilly and his ex-wife. It goes by the name of Maureen McPhilmy. Uh, what they did is they granted custody of the couple's two minor children to McPhilmy, Though nearly all documents pertaining to New York family court uh, cases are sealed, Gawker has learned that the justice in the case, her testimony accusing Bill O'Reilly of physically assaulting his wife in the couple's Manhasset home. I almost said Massachusetts. I'm not sure why. Um, according to a source, and, and there is only one source, and it is anonymous, so keep that in mind. So... You know, no matter what, no matter how you feel about O'Reilly, and trust me, I'm not, uh, I don't have any positive feelings towards O'Reilly. You have to take this maybe with a grain of salt because, once again, you, you, can, you can get into a lot of trouble by only citing one source, especially if it's an anonymous source. Nonetheless, we're going to get into what, what they say. According to a source familiar with the facts in the case, a court appointed forensic examiner testified at a closed hearing that O'Reilly's daughter claimed to have witnessed her father dragging McFilmy down a staircase by her neck. Apparently unaware that the daughter was watching. Now, there is no precise date of this alleged incident, but it appears to have occurred before the couple separated in 2010, according to the article. The same source indicated that the daughter, who is 16 years old, told the forensic examiner about the incident within the past year. Now, O'Reilly comes out uh, and says, and talks to Politico's Dylan Byers on Thursday and says, all, again, all allegations against me in these circumstances are 100% false. I'm going to respect the court-mandated confidentiality put in place to protect my children, and I will not comment any further. So here's O'Reilly saying, Un untrue smear merchant, Don't, that's what you're trying to do. And we've seen that before, right? But uh, that's what O'Reilly has to, says, to say about that. Now, a little bit more information into their, into their marriage from this article. O'Reilly and McPhilmy separated in April 2010, after which she began dating a Nassau County police detective named Jeffrey Gross. Now, O'Reilly uh, allegedly didn't like this. Okay, did not like this relationship. Gawker reported in 2011 that O'Reilly called up his high place connections within the NCPD to have something done about this new boyfriend. Oh boy. Now, O'Reilly was helping to raise money for this police department, an associated charity to this police department, the Nassau County Police Department Foundation. Now, O'Reilly's big name, so it, you know, helps raise money. And of course, I think with anything, if you help people raise money, if, you, if you're a donator, you have a certain amount of sway. So here's O'Reilly allegedly coming to cash in on this sway. Uh, his call sparked an internal affair investigation into Gross and his relationship with Mrs. Mc, uh, with McFilmy, which was, in this article, declared an incredible waste of police resources and a devious way of getting back at McFilmy by harassing her new boyfriend. Now, from what we've seen of O'Reilly, I don't think I would put that behavior too far above him, if you know what I mean. Now, they got divorced in uh, 2011, finalized everything, and agreed to share custody of their children. As part of their agreement, uh, the couple mutually agreed to sign a neutral therapist named Lynn Kulikowski. Now, this is important. This, this uh, um, therapist was supposed to mediate and arbitrate any potential custodial disputes. But as this article alleges, O'Reilly uh, decided to put her 
to the house payroll on his payroll. So now he's paying this person allegedly to take care of his kids who is supposed to be neutral in any dispute. Uh, once again, you've got kind of that power imbalance. If you're being paid by somebody, that is a um, that is just a, a conflict of interest. So uh, she was hired on to be a full-time nanny for uh, O'Reilly. Now, a judge later explained she was required to, quote, per personally or perform virtually all of O'Reilly's parental duties. Now, in a unanimous decision two years ago, a New York appeals judge ruled that O'Reilly's behavior, quote, could undermine the integrity of their joint custody agreement and ordered a trial court to consider McPhilmy's position for sole custody. It could undermine the integrity of their joint agreement. I, 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 I'm sorry. Could? Could. I, I have issues with that language. I definitely think that it did undermine the integrity. That I think, and this is my speculation here, I think that was the whole point. Now, Gawker also reported in March 2013 that O'Reilly was trying to get Mc, uh, Ms. McFilmy excommunicated from the Roman Catholic Church. This is a nasty divorce. Already, this is this is this is like the worst of the worst nasty. Now the couple married in 1996. She joined the church, or maybe she was even part of the church beforehand. And now, here comes O'Reilly in 2013. According to these documents, if that's true. You're going to be excommunicated. Get, get out of my church. Damn. Literally. Um, McPhilmy even received a letter from her local parish, another Long Island institution where O'Reilly just happens to have some influence, admonishing her for taking communion in the church, divorcing and remarrying is considered a grave offense to God. Well, that's funny. A lot of people don't seem to uh, agree with that. Um, only if they can use that to... Uh, against you i think that's that's really really matters but at the same time o'reilly was seeking a formal annulment hmm, for his 15 years of marriage now gawker was able to corroborate that the justice had issued a decision in this case and that o'reilly has appealed it at the nassau county clerk's office in manola uh, but neither o'reilly nor mcfilmy responded to requests for comment and of course fox news look if you think this is going to damage O'Reilly even more than him lying about, uh, for example, being in this, uh, covering the wars, covering those wars with the pen that he wasn't actually there for, you're mental. You're actually thinking that Fox News is a news place of integrity. It is not. And neither, in my opinion, is Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly isn't exactly um, known for his patient demeanor. I remember when he was uh, interviewing, and this was on uh, uh, Brave New Films, actually, uh, Out Fox. If you guys ever watched that, you see the uh, interview that he had with uh, somebody whose dad died in, I believe it was, the terrorist attacks of 2000, uh, 2001. September 11th, right? So this guy comes on to argue against going around the war in Iraq. And O'Reilly cut his mic, kicked him off. His producers had to come by and say, look, we got to get you out of here. We got to escort you out of here. I'm afraid O'Reilly's going to come after you. Like, he's mad enough to come up and kill you. Well, maybe not that, but um, I don't mean that literally. But nonetheless, O'Reilly was mad. And he's not exactly known to be a patient man. So hearing about this stuff, even though it's not proven, I'm not exactly surprised. And I think most of the people who have been hearing this, unless you're O'Reilly fans, I don't think a lot of you were surprised either. Now, I'm sure that there are some people out there and, you know, I'm not quite, I'm not pointing fingers at, you know, just conservatives or anything like that. But I'm sure there are some people out there that are like, yeah, get that bitch what she deserves. Yeah. 
I wouldn't be surprised if some people out there would be thinking that about Bill O'Reilly and been like, what's the problem? What's the problem? I mean, I've seen domestic violence. Uh, I come from a family that's had domestic violence. I've seen it, you know, firsthand. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not a, it's not a joking matter. It's not a funny thing. And it's a, it's a very serious issue. So, you know, if these, uh, if, if this turns out to be true, this testimony turns out to be true from O'Reilly's daughter. I mean, that's, that's, that's devastating. As far as Fox News is concerned, I don't think Fox News will do anything. But then again, that's because I don't think Fox News cares.